Hello guys, I'm Chris Dora. We're going to have a quick chat about mayfly emerges. Now, if that fish is sipping and he's not eating your dry fly, there are two primary reasons for that. One, your presentation sucks. Or two, your fly is riding high on the surface because chances are you've chosen a dad's favourite, a parachute or something else that's sitting on top of the surface rather than within or beneath the surface. Now, first thing to do is actually watch the rise form. Is the trout breaking the surface or is he bulging? Is he coming up and sipping within the film or slightly beneath it? If trout are feeding on emerges, they're probably going to turn down a dun imitation. However, if they're feeding on duns, they'll still happily accept an emerger. See where I'm getting at here? Now, a mayfly emerger is a mature nymph that's released itself from the stream bed, filled its, uh, filled its um, nymphal shuck up with uh, gas, floated up to the surface, the shuck is cracking open, and the adult mayfly is climbing out. Now, mayfly emerges aren't pretty. It's a mess, it's a tangle of wings, legs unfolding, shucks being discarded, sitting in, beneath, or at the surface. The mayfly uh, climbs out, crawls its way through the surface, drifts on downstream until the wings unfold, dry out, and then they lift off. Now, a done on the surface with its wings dried out doesn't give the trout a lot of time to get up there and eat. Quite often you'll find a full head rise, sometimes a bit more rushed. Whereas an emerger stuck in the surface film, there's bound to be lots of them, both alive, plus dead cripples. They're also going to be stuck there for a, a significant period of time, so the fish can position themselves in that feed lane and just sip, and sip, and sip. You might see the occasional nose break the surface, but chances are you're just going to be seeing that bulge as they come up to the emerger and just suck it through. Now, there are plenty of different patterns available. I occasionally do use a parachute, although even then I find that rides on top of the surface and just slightly within. A, um, a CDC floating nymph generally has the wing within the surface film and the body just beneath, in keeping with a lot of the emerges you see. A CDC emerger or deer hair emerger fits the bill perfectly. Very subtle, sits in the perfect position, the dry wing, the damp body, damp dry pattern. Now, you don't want to apply floating to the entire emerger pattern. You don't even really want to apply floating, you want it sitting flush in the surface or just beneath the surface. A long light leader that's going to land with a little bit of a puddle or a presentation cast to assist this to get a drag free drift through often very tricky currents. The fish are often right at the surface focused really closely in on these emerges, kind of like a telephoto lens. Everything outside that is often blurred out but they've got perfect detail on what they're looking at. They can see drag. The trout's not focusing or hitting your emerger, chances are you're casting too far upstream. Land it just ahead of the fish, so that by the time it gets to him, the currents haven't pushed and pulled the tippet, and you've still got a nice natural drift. But then make sure it, uh, you lift it off the water when it's well below the fish, because they will feel that, that tippet, that leader, break free of the surface tension. Now, get out there and enjoy this mayfly season this autumn, and have fun with your emerger patterns. Think in the film, rather than on the film. I'm Chris Dorr, and enjoy.